Hi kids, Al here. Today, Mrs. Ozzy is going to tell you about numbers made with 10. I'm not because I'm going to go eat some food in the kitchen. I'll see you later. Thanks, Al. Yep, today we are going to talk about numbers made with 10s. If you look on my fridge here, you'll see a whole bunch of objects. Let's pretend they're jelly beans. And my jelly beans are all spread out. And I need to know how many I have. And right now, as you see, they're all separated into what we call ones. They're not grouped together easily or efficiently. So I could go ahead and count all of these, but it would take me a super long time. So I can count a group of objects by making them into groups of 10. So let's see if you can help me do that. It's gonna be a lot faster and efficient to count by tens. Let's do that. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's two tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good. I have three groups of ten. I don't have any left over. So each of these nice nice boxes is full of 10 jelly beans. I don't have any leftovers. So I could say right now that I have one, two, three, three tens. Now if I count this by 10, it's going to help me find out how many jelly beans I have in all. And now that they're bundled or grouped into groups of 10, so much easier and faster to count. Let's count by 10 together. 10, 20, 30. So I could say that three tens equals 30. So three tens equals 30. All those ones that I had all mixed up have the same value or same amount as these three groups of 10. Now I'm going to get rid of my jelly beans for now and I'm going to go to the store. Well, not really, but we're gonna to go to a pretend store. And at the store, I have to tell the guy that I need jelly beans. And he says, well, you're in luck. I have lots of boxes of jelly beans. And so he said, in each box I have, each box has 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's one box, and I need six boxes of, of, of jelly beans. So let's see if we can figure out how much six boxes of jelly beans with groups of 10 inside equals. So I have one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five, and six boxes full of 10 jelly beans. So now I know that I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. And six tens, if I go ahead and count these boxes of jelly beans by 10, I will find out the value or how much this group of boxes have. So six tens equals, well, let's find out how much six tens equals. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So six tens equals 60. So I have 60 jelly beans in all, and I think that's just enough. What do you think? I don't think it's enough at all. I want more. Bye, kids.